The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, amen I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach to their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be seated. The words of Jesus in today's Gospel, especially the first part, are disturbing. Nakakabahala. Kasi, parang hindi siyang nagsasalita. Jesus is a man of peace. Pero sabi niya ay, I did not come to bring peace, but the sword. Hindi ako na parito para magdala ng kapayapaan, ngunit espada, sundang, tabak, away, gulo. Abad yata, ang Panginoon, manggugulo. Eh, ayaw natin ng gulo. Ayaw natin na tayo ginugulo. At ayaw natin ng mga taong nanggugulo. Pero, ang panggugulo daw ay maring magdala ng dalawang bagay. Maring magdala ng inis, galit, o kapahamakan. Pero maring ito magdala ng sorpresa at saya. Minsan, umuwi ako sa amin, sa Iloilo, para magbigay ng retreat sa mga madre. Yung nakuha akong flight ay yung madaling araw, alis ng Maynila, lang alas tres e media sa umaga, at darating doon ng alas cinco. Kaya pagdating ko doon, wala pa yung sundo, tumawag ako sa kapatid ko. Sabi ko, idlip mo na ako yung sandali bago tumuloy sa retreat house. At pagdating ko, ang bahay ng kapatid ko, sa antok ko, Binaba ko yung bag, bumagsak sa sopa, at uh, naidlip. Yung kapatid ko, tamangkin ko, handa na ng almusal. Hindi ko napansin yung anak ng pamangkin ko, bali, apo ko na, dun sa isang tabi, tahimik ng laro, maya-maya, lumapit sa akin, nandahan. Kumuha ng balahibo ng manok, siguro galing yun sa feather duster, at kiniliti yung tenga ko. Napabalikwas ako. At tumambad sa akin yung mukha niya sa harap ko. Kumahagi-kick sa tuwa. Tawa ng tawa. Ibis na magalit, ako'y tumawa na rin. At nagsimula ang habulan na may background na malalakas na tawanan. Imagine ninyo, isang pare, 65 years old, nakipaghabulan hmm, sa kanyang apo, 2 years old. Umagang umaga, Tahimik ang buong kapitbahayan. Ginulo ako. Inisturbo yung tulog ko. Ginising ako. Pero, yung tumambad sa akin ay mukha ng isang munting anghel na naghihintay na makipaglaro. Ginulo ako. 
Inistorbo ako. Pero namulat ako sa isang bagay na mas mahalaga. Nandun doon lang ang aking mga mahal sa buhay. Naghihintay na makapiling at makisaya kasama sila. And these moments are precious and priceless. And they may not come again. Salamat at ginulo ako ng apo ko. Marami ding mga bagay sa ating paligid ngayon na nanggugulo. Ang daming kaguluhan. Pero hindi lahat nagdadala ng sorpresa at saya. Marami ang dala ay inis, galit, sama ng loob, sakit ng kalooban, at sakit ng katawan. Nandyan yung kaguluhan na dala ng kalikasan. Alam natin lahat to. Itong pandemyang to. At talagang ginugulo tayo eh. Talagang binulabog tayo eh. Hirap tayo eh. May kaguluhan na gawa ng tao. Eh alam nyo rin to. Yung panggugulo na makaaway ninyo. May kaguluhan din na likha ng mga tao na walang magawa kundi manggulo. Ito ay talaga mga panggulo. At alam nyo rin kung sino mga ito. Ang daming kaguluhang nangyayari sa ating paligid. Sinabi nga na matatanda, pag may matinding kaguluhang nangyayari, kinikiliti tayo ng Diyos. Kinikiliti ng Diyos. Aba, Panginoon, kung mangiliti, kaya gamitin mo naman yung balahibon ng manok, huwag naman yung kuko ng lawin. Masakit eh. Ginigising tayo ng Diyos. God is disturbing us. God is waking us up to bring us back to our senses. To shake us from our zones of comfort. To question our values. To redirect our priorities. And to rediscover our faith. Ang daming kaguluhang nangyayari sa ating paligid. Ano bang dala nila? Sorpresa o parusa? Ginigising tayo ng Diyos. Minumulat ang ating mga mata. God is disturbing us. These are trying times. These are disturbing times. Pero maganda din siguro na pahintulutan natin na guluhin tayo ng Diyos. Let us allow God to disturb us. May naalala akong magandang dasal. Sinulat ko nga eh. Kinopya ko nga eh. Allow me to share this with you. Ang title ay Disturb Me, Lord. Disturb me, Lord, when I am too well pleased with myself. When my dreams have come true because I dream too little. When I arrive safely because I sailed too close to the shore. Disturb me, Lord, when, the, when with the abundance of the things I possess, I have lost my thirst for the waters of life. Having fallen in love with life, I have ceased to dream of eternity. And in my efforts to build a new earth, I have allowed my vision of heaven to grow dim. Disturb me, Lord, to dare more boldly, to venture on wider seas, where storms will show your mastery. We're losing sight of the land, I shall find the stars. I ask you to push back the horizons of my hope. 
and push into the future with strength, courage, hope, and love. Amen. Disturb us, Lord. Okay lang, Panginoon. Guluhin mo kami. Aabangan namin ang sorpresa. <laughs>